everybody, I'm Nora Burrows and I finished the pillow that I had started yesterday. I, I guess it was a couple days ago. I love it. I think it looks so professional. I did the envelope backing. It turned out really well. Let me show you a mini clip. I have my pillow top here. I just have it draped on top of the pillow. I don't have this quilted or anything like that. I decided not to go with an extra border like with the green or anything else. I just think that this is this is enough. This this looks good. So I am happy with this. Now I'm only I'm a little concerned because the pillow form says it's 16 inch. So I cut this piece to be 16 and a half to give myself um, well, I'm, now I'm realizing I messed up because I was trying to give myself a half inch around each side, but that means I would have had to cut it 17 inches. So that's fine. So now it'll only be a half inch seam allowance, which isn't ideal, but that's okay. Um, but I'm still concerned because even at 16 inches, it's like right up against the seam on both sides. It like doesn't even really hit the seam on this side. So. Uh, I don't know. It's supposed to be 16 inch. This is cut 16 and a half, but I'm just going to have to do like a really small seam allowance and hope for the best. Um, I cut this black fabric to be the backing. Uh, I need to cut a piece of batting. At least it looks attractive. Who knows how it's going to look once the pillow's done. Let me keep going and, and see what happens here. I have my quilt sandwich basted together here so I have this gray on the back and then the batting in the middle and my top here. I'm getting ready to quilt these three layers together. I typically almost always just do stitch in the ditch. Uh, on this project I did want to do something a little bit different but I've and I was thinking maybe like going along these diagonals or something like that but ultimately I really just I don't want to interrupt this middle piece so I could do stitch in the ditch around here and then do the diagonals around the side but I'm not going to at least not right this minute. Um, I think I'm just going to stitch along this inner border and then stitch along the outer border. So I'm trying to pick out the thread to have on top and I wanted to show you something. What I wanted to show you is that the thread that you anticipate being the right color is not always the best match. So this is the one that I thought was going to be the best. It, it matches the most accurately. But if you take a strand and you put it right along there, it matches pretty good. But if I take this kind of um, coppery color and put it right next to it, it actually blends better. You can see this one, you can see this one more than you can see this one. So this one is the one I'm gonna use. So obviously the size that I cut came out fine, but I will say that I think that I may take this pillow out and sew the seams even a little bit closer in because I. I think that I could fill this pillow out a little bit. It has some room um, in there and I kind of want it to look a little bit puffier. So I'm gonna sew the seams a little bit closer in. So I had plenty of space. And actually one of the comments um, when I first showed you what I was doing with this pillow uh, said that if you have a 16 inch pillow that you can, you can sew it in a little bit closer than you think um, and that adds a puff to the pillow. They also said that they stuff cotton into the corners to kind of puff it out. So I may do that as well. I have one more of these to do. The second one is all the pieces are completely done. It's quilted and everything. I just have to make my, um, my sandwich to put the backing, the envelope backing on. The only thing that I'm not super excited about is that I feel like I should have done mitered corners here. Um, I've never done mitered corners, so I'm always a little apprehensive to, do, you know, since I'm already doing something that I've never done before, which is make a pillow, adding another thing that I've never done before was a little, a little much for me. Plus, I just anticipated that there's so much like crossing going on that it would just kind of all blend together, but it doesn't quite blend as much as I had hoped, and I think that the mitered corners would have been a nice touch. So if I were to do it again, that's what I would do, and when I use this fabric in another project, I will miter the corners. I did receive an order, another order from Fat Quarter Shop uh, that I had placed. I know I just did a fabric haul last week, but I'm gonna do another one today. Uh, let me show you what I got. And then tomorrow I wanna work on that bird panel exchange that I told you about yesterday. And then the following day, finish up that fish quilt, finally. It is so, so, so close. So lots to come. Let's do the fabric haul and that'll be it for today. Here is the first piece I got. 
It's really beautiful. It looks like the fall moon. I was thinking for this one that I might do something where I make some pumpkins, some black pumpkins along here and then have this be the background. But I don't know, I feel like that might not be enough contrast. So I don't know, but something kind of like fall and pumpkin like for this one. And here is the salvage. This one felt very modern to me. So that other one I just showed you, the fall one, I paid full price. This was on clearance. And I think it just kind of looks kind of fun and modern. It will be a nice basic to have. Here's the salvage. And I'm just thinking kind of like thin strips or something with, you know, bright neons some kind of cool funky piece. This one was also on sale and it was the end of the bolt. This is actually kind of a similar plaid to one that I got and showed you in the last haul. So I guess it's not so similar. This is the one I got last time, but they could certainly go in the same quilt. This one was the end of the bolt on clearance. And then I have one more piece to show you save the best for last. This is kind of an amazing piece. Here's a selvage for this one. Oh, it's a Christmas fabric. So this is spectacular. These colors are just amazing. And I got that CAFE bundle, um, the Fat Quarter bundle that I showed you last time in the last haul. And I think this could go really really good with that. I'm not exactly sure how that would all come together because this is a pretty big print um, and those are, you know, just small fat quarters, but something, I mean, something amazing could happen. Here are some of the CAFE fabrics. Um, let's take a look and see how they go with this piece. I think that they're pretty cool. The colors are pretty right on and then kind of like this geometric, these geometric pieces against this more kind of floral piece works well, I think. And that black up there, there's no black in this piece, but I think it's still okay. There's this one and here's one more. Um, so yeah, I think that that could be a really cool, that could be a really cool quilt combination there. I just have to figure out how to make it all work together. And then maybe some pieces that are a little bit more solid, like not exactly solids, but I don't know, some kind of piece that's, um, I guess not that. Here's the green that I was thinking about. Um, this was part of the fabric haul, the last fabric haul, and I've been talking about putting this green with um, with these cape, and everybody in the comments was like, absolutely not. So maybe not this, but I don't know. I still don't hate it. They said it was too grandma to go with these, but I kind of like the contrasting modern with the you know the florals but I have to look for some fabrics that kind of pull all these pieces together this all here it's a lot so I need something to kind of calm it all down but this this will be a fun project to do and there's the salvage the final thing that I got in my order is this design board uh, it's an 18 inch one which is kind of enormous I wanted to get the size down but they were sold out so I got this one I don't how useful this is going to be. Um, I got it primarily so that I could hold up um, quilt blocks and things like that for my thumbnails because right now I'm kind of holding those pieces up and they're flopping all over the place and it's hard to get a picture. So I primarily got it for that, but I do think it can be useful in some other ways. Um, I don't know. I know that people get a lot of them and stack them so you can kind of have multiple um, pieces going at once, but they're so expensive. I can't imagine getting them just for that purpose. So anyway, um, let me know if I'm missing out on a way to utilize these boards but that was the last thing that came in my order so that fabric is a lot of fun especially especially this this amazing gorgeous piece here i can't wait to use that i might have to do something with that sooner rather than later uh i'm incredibly enthusiastic that i now have two pillows to add to my booth. I think these are going to be really dramatic uh, and I have an idea for the next set that I want to do. Um, in terms of pillows, I do have another pillow video, but it was a total fail, a total and utter fail, but it was a really fun video. Um, let me see what the name of it is. Heart pillow fail, but lots of scrap 
piecing success or something like that. Heart pillow fail and then something, something, something. Anyway, um, I tried to make a heart pillow for Valentine's Day and it was kind of funny. So check that out if you want to. Uh, this one is much better than the heart pillow I did. I'm feeling mighty good about myself on this piece here. I really think it looks professional, don't you think? Um, really good. I can't wait to make the next one or the next set. The like I mentioned, the other one is the other one is almost done, so close. Then I can make a whole nother set of them. That's it for today. I'm really excited to show you the quilt that I'm going to be working on after this one. I have a work in progress. You can take a peek at it actually on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is quilts by Nora. Mostly quilts was gone. So actually I think my handle is mostly quilts by Nora or something like that. I'm sure you could find me. Actually in the description of this video, there's a link to my um, Instagram handle, my Instagram link or whatever. You can find me there. Anyway, if you want a sneak peek of what we're going to be working on after this fish quilt is done, you can take a look there. It's like black and white and pink. It's really super cool. So thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. Go check me out on Instagram and I'll see you next time. Bye.